Welcome to lecture number 11 of the series Unreal 5 for Arquez and in today's lecture we'll model a table and place in between these three couches. So let's get started. First of all I'll hide everything. Okay I'll select this collection and let's go into the top view and let's bring in a reference image. Okay, so this is the front view. To set the scale for this reference image, I'll put this corner over the 3D cursor. Okay. Now let's bring in a single vertex and let's extrude this vertex on X axis. And I'll type in 1.65 meters. Okay. Now let's change the transform point to 3D cursor and I'll select this image and scale this down. Okay. Now let's move this reference image aside and I'll delete the vertex. Okay, let's bring in another reference image. This one is the side view and I'll copy the scale value from this reference image. And I'll paste it on this one. Okay. Let's change the transform point back to median point. I'll move this on x axis. Okay. Let's decrease the opacity. And let's rotate this on x axis. I'll type in 90. Let's rotate this on Y and on X. Okay. Let's go into the front view and let's bring in a single vertex. And I'll start molding my table. Let's place this vertex right here. I'll select both of these and let's extrude this on x-axis. Okay, I'll select everything. Let's go in, in the side view and let's move this on Y. Yeah, let's extrude this on Y-axis. And let's follow the blueprint line. Okay. Let's create a copy. And I'll snap this at this point. Let's create another copy. And let's snap it at this point. I'll go into the edit mode. And let's follow the blueprint line. Let's move this on X. And let's move this on Z. Yeah. Okay, let's go in the side view and let's move them on Y. I'll select this one and let's create a copy. Let's snap at this position. I'll go into the edit mode and let's match the blueprint line. Okay, I'll select these vertices and I'll move them on Z axis.
okay let's go in the side view and let's align them with the group line let's extrude this on y and follow the blueprint line i'll select these and separate them by selection yes okay let's select these two objects i'll go into the front view and let's create a copy on x-axis let's move these vertices on z okay i'll select this object and let's create a copy on x-axis let's select these vertices and let's align them with the blueprint line let's snap it at this point yeah let's select this object and let's create a copy on z axis let's snap it at this point okay let's go into the edit mode let's pull this down on z okay Let's select this mesh. I'll go into the front view and let's select this vertex. I'll press Shift D and let's separate this one by selection. I'll extrude this vertex on X. Select everything. I'll go into the side view let's align this on y and i'll extrude this on y i'll select everything go into the front view and let's extrude this on z and snap it at this point let's scale this up okay yeah i'll select this mesh I'll go into the front view and let's create a copy on x-axis. I'll select these two. I'll go into the side view and let's create a copy on y-axis. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I think our table is ready. Let's hide these two reference images and I'll select everything. Let's go into the top view and let's bring this table in our living room. I'll unhide everything and let's bring this table in our living room. Let's set the origin of this table to geometry and I'll rotate this on Z axis. Let's place it right here. Okay. let's go into the side view and let's push this up and let's align this with the surface yeah okay okay so the basic structure of our interior of the living room is complete that's it for this lecture in the next lecture We'll model a cupboard against this wall and we'll model some wooden decors for the bedroom against this wall. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next lecture.